record for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and took it, and it produced no grain. And some, se and some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit. It came up and grew and yielded thirty, sixty, and a hundredfold. He added, Whoever has ears to hear, oh, to hear. And when he was alone, those present, along with the twelve, questioned him about the parable. He answered them, The mystery of the kingdom of God has been granted to you, but to those outside everything comes in parables, so that they may look and see, but not perceive, and hear and listen, but not understand in order that they may not be converted and be forgiven. Jesus said to them, Do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand any of the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. As soon as they hear, Satan comes at once and takes away the word sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rock, rocky ground, who when they hear the word, receive it at once with joy. But they had no roots, they last only for a time. Then, when tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. Those sown among thorns are another sort. They are the people who hear the word, but worldly anxiety, the lure of riches, and the craving for other things intrude and took the word, and it bears no fruit. But those sown in rich soil are the ones who hear the word and accept it and bear fruit thirty and sixty and a hundredfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. May isang lola na excited sa pagbabalita na ang kanyang apo ay may Awards. Sabi ko, ano ba yung grade ng apo mo? Sabi niya sa akin, kinder. Sabi ko naman, anong award niya? Sabi, a most uh, diligent, perfect yung math niya. At uh, drawing, coloring. Sabi ko, very good. Very good. Nung tinanong ko naman yung apo, ano bang ginawa mo sa modules mo? Ano ba yung na-drawing mo? Ano yung nakuloran mo? Pinakita sa akin yung drawing. Father, ito po yung ginawa ng lola ko. Ginawa ng lola ko. Sabi ko, dapat pala yung lola mo yung may award, hindi ikaw. Tumawa lang yung bata. Medyo nahihiya naman ang lola. Mga kapatid, tuwang tuwa tayo kapag may mga rewards tayo matatanggap, di ba? At tuwang tuwa tayo lalong-lalo na kapag pinaghirapan natin ang award na yun. Dahil yun ang dapat eh. Yun ang dapat. Dahil ang awards ay bunga ng paghihirap natin. Ng bunga ng pagtsatsaga natin. 
bunga ng pawis natin. Bunga ng oras na binigay natin sa paggawa ng maganda. Nang maganda. So ito ay mga bunga ng pinaghirapan natin. Bunga ng tiyaga natin. At hindi basta-basta lamang ito ibibigay sa hindi o walang karapatan. Sa ating Ibanghilyo, naririnig natin ng ating Panginoon. Binigyan tayo ng isang kwento tungkol sa butil sa isang seed, tungkol sa isang sower. Kung ating tingnan, sabihin natin siguro, kung bakit nahulog yung ibang binhi sa daan o sa batoon na lugar o sa mga may tinik. Siguro ang impresyon natin una, eh kasalanan ba ng binhi yun na nahulog sa doon sa daan at kinain ng ibon? Kasalanan binhi na mahulog sa mga bato na walang lupa, kasalanan ba kaya ng binhi na mahulog sa mga tinik? Na kapag tumubo, the thorn will talk it and it will not bear fruit. Kasalanan ba ng binhi? O may responsibility yung sower na naghagis ng binhi? Dapat careful din siya sa paghagis na ang binhi ay hindi mahuhulog sa daan. Na alam niya, pag mahulog sa daan, kakainin ng mga ibon. Ang daming ibon nagbabantay, naghihintay na matutuka, na makakain. At certainly, dapat maingat din siya na ang binhi ay mahuhulog hindi sa mga bato kasi alam natin pag bato walang lupa manipis ang lupa kapag tumubo at initan eh malalanta ka agad or mahuhulog sa mga tinik o mga damo na may tinik So napapansin natin na yung binhi lamang na nahulog sa lupa, siguro may pataba pang lupa, ang nagkaroon ng bunga. Nagkaroon ng bunga. At makikita natin ito sa ating mga sarili. Sa ating mga sarili. sa ating mga ginagawa, sa mga ating mga tinuturo, sa mga ihimplo na ating pinapakita, sa ating mga kasamahan, sa loob ng bahay, sa palingke, sa mga malls, maririnig yung mga salita na ating sinasabi, mga salita na ating binitiwan, mga salita na kung minsan maganda pakinggan, pero mga salita na masasakit at walang kapuluhan. Ito'y maari nang gagaling sa mga tao at ito ay ang mga sober, yung nagpapalaganap. At ano, ang maging bunga kapag ang salita ay 
masakit. Anong bunga kapag ang salita ay bastos? Anong bunga kapag ang salita ay mapagsisi? Wala nang ginawa kundi mangsisi. Saan mahuhulog? Sino makikinig? Maririnig pero hindi pakinggan. Papasok sa isang tay nga lalabas sa kabila. Bakit? Dahil walang kabuluhan na salita. So kailangan kung tayo ay magsalita, kailangan din natin piliin kung anong klaseng binhi ang ibibigay natin. Anong klaseng salita? Gawin natin na magandang salita na siyang magbubunga. Not only once, but twice, but thrice. Not only thirty, sixty, or hundred folds. But the words that will sustain, that will sustain every kind of situation. The word that will stay forever, na kahit mawala ng mundo, yung salita na yan ay maiiwan. At ang salita na ito ay walang iba kundi ang binhi ang salita ng Diyos. Tayo ang katulong ng ating Panginoon upang ipalaganap itong salita. Kailangan pabungahin muna natin sa ating mga gawa. Patubuin muna natin sa ating mga sarili. Patubuin natin sa ating puso, sa ating isipan upang pag ginawa na ng kamay natin, pag ilakad na ng paa natin, patungo sa mga lupa na ibig natin. Itanin, ito ay magbubunga din. Hundred folds. Because it comes from a good soil. And the soil was chosen by a good sower. We are that sower. We are that sower chosen by God in order to share that seed. So napakaganda kapag nakatanggap tayo ng mga awards or rewards. Kahit ang lula na tuwang-tuwa na may honor ang kanyang apo, kahit sa yung gumawa, dahil may ginawa siya, may pinaghirapan siya para sa kabutihan ng kanyang apo. At ganun din sa buhay natin. Lalong-lalo na sa ating obligasyon sa pagpalaganap ng salita ng Diyos. Dapat ang ginawa natin na pagpalaganap ay magbigay ng reward. We'll glorify Our Lord will glorify God. Hindi dahil ginawa niya, kunit ginawa natin para sa Kanya. Itanim natin ang salita ng Diyos sa ating isipan, sa ating puso. At pabungahin natin sa pamagitan ng pagbahagi natin sa ating kapitbahay, sa ating kasamahan sa bahay, kasamahan sa opisina, sa mga kaibigan natin. Please stand. Christ teaches us through the parables. 
Christ is the sower of the seed of God's word. Let us respond to this work by praying to the Father, Divine Sower, bless us. Divine Sower, bless us, that the church in the world may be like the rich soil yielding a hundredfold harvest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, bless us. That the leaders of our nation may govern in a way which is pleasing to God and to its citizens. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, bless us. That our unchecked ambitions and selfishness may never choke the Word of God in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, Bless us. That the sick may experience the healing power of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, bless us. That those who have died may enjoy the light, happiness, and peace in heaven, let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, bless us. In silence, we offer our burnt personal intentions and prayers. We remember. As I have said, those who are suffering from illnesses, especially this COVID pandemic. And we also pray for families whose loved ones died. We remember those who are celebrating the birthday today at their anniversaries. Heavenly Father, help us to recognize the seed of your word at work in our lives. May we never get distracted by the cares of this world, but be active in our service, so produce an abundant harvest. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, truth of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruits of divine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual offering. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus and in your kindness render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, 
For as on the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy life, teach her by their word of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift of pray, by sending down your Spirit upon you like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis his assistant, Gerard our master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father, Saint Dominic, Saint Timothy and Titus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever 
and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the severe's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the hope of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other design of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the rivers of saints Timothy and Titus, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Eucharistic celebration. Let us continue praying for one another. We need more prayers, especially this time. And please include in your prayers our frontliners here in the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, our sacristan, our lecture commentators, our Eucharistic ministers, our ushers, security guards. Uh, we include Rusty, our singer, and all our radio staff. Please include also our Dominican Fathers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the prayers for our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly in silence remember the names of your loved ones who are sick who needs this prayer. We will also bless your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Show your kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were gratefully bless your holy name in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy, hindering the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.